It's about 6.17 and time now for What's Trending. An incredible international rescue is coming full circle. Back in February, a little dog was stuck on a patch of ice on the Detroit River. Four days with no food, below freezing temperatures, and under the threat of coyotes. Yet somehow, the dog, dubbed Miracle, survived. He's been living at the Friends of the River Rogue Animal Shelter ever since. But now, Miracle has a new home with the man who saved his life. Jude Mead lives across the Detroit River in Canada. He crossed the icy river on an airboat to bring the dog to safety. The shelter says it got many adoption applications for Miracle, but they felt the man who saved him was the best fit. And I don't think that anyone can argue with that decision. Um, it was a heroic act. And I remember we talked about this story um, when it happened originally. Um, and it was just such a great thing for him to do, to get out, uh, to go over there and, and help save this dog. And it's so great to see that both of them uh, reunited again. Absolutely. And just to see, you know, the little one, oh my gosh, Aww, that just makes so me, you know, so sad. I, I actually did not, I didn't remember this story at first, but it all came back to me. Um, and I'm just so happy that I found a little, a, a nice home for it too. Um, and just, it's so tiny. So it's like, how did it, you know, just, it really weathered through those conditions out there. I just, oh my gosh, but I'm so happy that they're together. Yeah. It's really impressive. I'm happy too. It's just such a stinking cutie. And, you know, <laughs> who else would be so deserving of to be the owner than uh, the one who saved the miracle from those conditions anyway. So I really think that just is a really a good match right there. Really nice to see. Absolutely. Speaking of a warm home, uh, a creepy goth and horror themed house in Maryland is now up for sale. The seller says his house in Baltimore is his twisted imagination coming to life. The house as it is now includes black carpeting, black furniture, and a coffin. There's also a black church pew, black chandelier, and black spiderweb railings upstairs, not to mention real cemetery gates and headstones in the backyard. The realtor advised the seller to remove about 20 life-size figures from horror movies, but it's not all gore. Framed uh, jerseys show the owner's love for his favorite NFL team, the Las Vegas Raiders. The one-bedroom house is listed for two hundred and twenty five thousand dollars and you guys you know I I love the spooky stuff I love scary movies um, but to be living in something like that it would be pretty interesting maybe like a you know vacation stay but I don't want to consistently wake up to a coffin I think I would be a little creeped out but um, you know really really interesting really creative here you know, in my opinion, it might be the unpopular opinion, but I really like the design of the interior of this home. Um, there are a few aspects that have a little creepy twist to them, uh, like the crypt in the backyard there, the coffin, maybe I could do away with, but I really love the black on white, um, you know, accents that they have going on in there. Um, I think it's a really clean look, so um, I would be interested definitely in the, in the home, uh, but maybe just uh, with a few less of the creepy features, I suppose. <laughs> You know, I think the creepy is uh, kind of cool, actually, too. I'm really curious if there's any sort of backstories of that place being haunted or mm. um, any sort of uh, maybe paranormal activity. I think that would be all the more cool and add to that depth of just kind of that creepy feel of the place. Really sure. neat there. But now, you know, it might not be the best place to be kind of hosting uh, uh, people over for cocktails. And, um, you know, we're getting into that spring season, even though temperatures are pretty cool today. Uh, people were no doubt mixing up cocktails at home when the pandemic prompted the shutdown of bars and restaurants last Last year. The travel rewards company upgraded points, wanted to see which ones were most popular in each state. They used Google Trends data from March 2020 to March 2021 to see which drinks people were looking up the recipes for. Turns out the mimosa was the most popular in the highest number of states, with six. And five different cocktails were the most popular in three states each. Those five are the margarita, mojito, Pini Colada, White Russian, and Wine Cooler. Mm. I think out of all those, uh, my favorite's got to be the Mojito. I really, I mean, I enjoy all of them, but the Mojito's got to uh, be my favorite there. What about you guys? I am right with you, Andy. Uh, mojito is definitely one of my favorites. Um, and I was looking through all the states, and uh, Wisconsin's uh, traditionally, of course, was the Old Fashioned. I think there was just one other state that the Old Fashioned came in at number one. Um, but of course, you know, this is your home state too, Andy, so I don't know if that comes as a surprise to you. Um, my home state, New Hampshire, Margarita, uh, was, was 
the top drink there. And then I think South Carolina was a gin fizz, Sierra. Do you have anything to say about that? I, I do, first of all, because I think that our main drink is the uh, it's the Firefly Sweet Tea. You know, we're big on sweet tea down south. Got to have it. Mm -hmm. And um, the Firefly Vodka is like a distillery. It's really cool down there. Um, but, I mean, you can't go wrong with the margarita. So out of that list, that would be my top one. <laughs>